Okay, so let's try an equation that's a little bit more difficult. So here we have one with six unique elements in it. We have tricalcium phosphate plus silicon dioxide plus elemental carbon reacts to form calcium silicate, tetraphosphorus, and carbon monoxide. So we'll start by adding our variable in front of each molecule. So we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. So now I'm going to encourage you to pause this video and see if you can solve this on your own. Okay, so let's see what we get. We'll create our equations. It looks like our first one will be calcium. So calcium equation, we have three calciums in the A molecule. And that looks like the only one on the left side, so our arrow becomes an equal sign. And on the right, we have a single calcium in the D molecule. So next is phosphorus. Looks like we have two phosphorus in the A molecule, and that's the only one on the left. And then on the right, we have four phosphorus in the E molecule. So what do we have next? We have oxygen. Let's see, we have four times two equals eight. So we have eight oxygen in the A molecule. And we have, let's see, two oxygen in the B. So plus two B. We have three oxygen in the D, so three D. And one in the F. All right, so what's next? We have silicon next. So we have one silicon in the B. And it looks like we have one in the D. So that's easy enough. And our last equation is carbon. So we have a single carbon on the left in the C molecule. And we have a single carbon on the right in the F molecule, so C equals F. Okay, so we have our equations. Now let's see if we can solve them. Start by letting A equal 1. So then we can use the calcium equation to solve for D. So we have D equals... 3a, if a is 1, then d equals 3. Now we can use the silicon equation to solve for b. So we have b is equal to d, which d is equal to 3, so b is equal to 3. And what's next? We can use the phosphorus equation to solve for e. So we have 4e equals 2a, and if a is 1, then 4e equals 2. Can divide both sides by 4, so we have e is equal to 2 over 4, which is the same thing as 1 half. Let's see, what else do we have? We've got a, b, d, and e, so we have to solve for c. I have to solve for F first, so we'll solve for F. So we can use the oxygen equation to solve for F. So we have 3D plus F equals 8A plus 2B. We can subtract 3D from both sides. So we get F equals 8A plus 2B minus 3D. Now we can plug in the things that we've already solved for. So F equals 8A, and A is 1, so 8, plus 2B. B is 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, so plus 6. And D is also 3, so minus 3D, that'd be minus 3 times 3, so minus 9. So 8 plus 6 is 14, minus 9 would be 5. And now we can use the carbon equation to solve for C. So C equals F, 
we just found out that f equals 5, so c equals 5. Okay, so we have a fraction here. Our e equals 1 half, so that means we need to multiply all of our solutions by 2. So if we do that, we have a equals 1 times 2, so 2. b equals 3 times 2, so that's 6. C equals 5 times 2, so 10. D equals 3 times 2, so that's also 6. E equals 1 half times 2, so 1. And F is 5 times 2, that is 10. Okay, so let's put all of our variables into the original chemical equation and see what we get. So we have A is 2, so 2. CA3, PO4, 2, plus B is 6, so 6, SIO2, C is 10, so plus 10 carbon. It's going to react to form. D is 6, so 6, C, A, S, I, O, 3, E is 1, so plus 1, P, 4, plus F, so plus 10, C, O. So now we need to just check our answer, make sure everything adds up. So start with calcium. We have three times two equals six calcium on the left, and we have six calcium on the right. We have two times two, four phosphorus on the left, and four phosphorus on the right. We have two times four times two, so that's 16 oxygen there. Go ahead and write that up here. So 16 oxygen there. We have 2 times 6, so 12 oxygen there. And on the right, we have 3 times 6, 18 oxygen. And 10 times 1, 10 oxygen. So we have 28 oxygen on both sides. So that checks out. We have. 6 silicon on the left and 6 silicon on the right, so that checks out. And we have 10 carbon on the left and 10 carbon on the right, so everything looks to be balanced.